Hey y'all, and welcome back to another video by Umbro's Darkness. In today's video, we'll be continuing with the theme of server versus servers. Uh, this day, today is special ant day. Before we get into it, there are two things that I really want to talk about. One, thank you guys for the love and support. We are at 400 subscribers. That's huge for me. We've been gaining about 100 subscribers per week. I hope we can keep up this momentum. With that being said, this will be a special giveaway, $20 Google Play giveaway. Uh, the name will be in the description below, and I'll say it throughout this video. The other thing I want to talk about is there was an update today on these two buildings and cells. I will be talking about those in a second video. Yes, today is a two-video type of day. Um, but I want to wait for the challenge to open. I believe I understand how all of this has worked, but I just want to double-check and make sure I understand and let you guys know everything that I know to the maximum extent possible. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So server versus server, again, if you're ever curious what your day is gonna look like, you can come here, you can press this I right here, and you can click check. Uh, Rechoose if you've already chosen a day, and then strength and special light is what we're gonna talk about. Using eggs, using one spore, getting one spore, gaining 10 experience, unlocking one skill, and hunting wild creatures. That's how you can get points today. Uh, notice that today, is the one day where buying diamonds does not count. Buying diamonds does not count. Uh, I think that that's pretty significant to note. Every other day it does still have the no bonus uh, from point, point ups, but you do get points from buying one diamonds. Strength being special ants does not have that. Uh, all right, so let's break this down into groups. Uh, the first group I'd like to talk about is hunting wild creatures. And gaining experience, hunting wild creatures, and gaining experience. So what I do in order to prep for that is I have all of my units at 100 stamina, right? So I leave my units out to gather after I'm done in the morning before I go to work. And then I don't collect them until server versus server starts. And then uh, in order to gain experience, you can't be level 50. So I would take off these level 50s and I would put in random special lines that I have that aren't level 50 yet. Maybe take off some of the development ants and put them in here. Uh, I would also uh, leave in one if need be in order to be above 350 attack. So that way I do actually win when I hit a level 15 insect. Um, but that's how I do the hunting wild creatures and gaining 10 experience. That's the most efficient way uh, in my mind. And then I never send them out to gather because I want to be able to use 100 experience or use experience every single time. I do hit one special insect from the battle pass weekly, and I hit one lizard, uh, because I think that those the diamonds and the rest of the rewards are too significant to miss out, especially if you're hunting level 30 lizards like I am. Uh, but other than that, the rest of my stamina goes purely and solely to hunting insects on that day. Uh... Okay, the next portion is the hatching spores and unlocking skills. I'm going to show you what I do, and I'm going to tell you some tips and tricks in order to get there. So throughout the week, uh, you do have inside of your alliance, inside of your salary, on the daily one, you do have redeemed spores, right? Three times, up to three times. You can do that. I redeem three a day, uh, except for the day prior. So on Wednesday during... Evolution day, I'll re redeem maximum number of spores, which for me is 26 currently. And I would redeem maximum numbers, so that way I go into the next day with no shells left. The reason I'm going to do that is because throughout the week, I save up all of my eggs. So I'm going to have plenty of more plenty more shells to save, right, uh, throughout on that day. And I want to have the maximum number of spores. So the way this normally looks is I have about 50 eggs. We didn't win a single server versus server day last week. So I usually uh, place first at least once and then we win a couple of days. Didn't happen. But usually I have about 50 orange eggs, maybe 60 if I'm really lucky. And I have about 7,500 spores. Uh, I wouldn't use those throughout the entire week. And then kiwi, I would not use that throughout the entire week. And I will space them out in between every CA. This is the one day a week that I have alarms set in order to finish every CA. With that being said, I will say that the code word for today is 12 CA day. The number 12, space, capital C, capital A, 
space day 12 ca day that is going to be the code word it will be in the description below in case you're confused on how to write it it is every other hour you need 12 advanced raspberries in order to get it in order to get advanced raspberry points for every single one uh that's what i do i do 12 ca's on thursdays all right uh the most important thing that i would like to point out is that Hunting insects is not a part of this. Hatching is, and unlocking skills are, and using spores, redeeming spores, and gaining 10 experiences. So what I do for that is I'll pop my advanced raspberry at like 45 before that hour, and I will send out insects. Uh, so that way I can gain experience under a raspberry and not be too distracted. And then uh, when the event starts, I'll hatch or I'll redeem spores. I'll do whatever I want in order to finish the CA. Now, if you do find yourself struggling, and this is the tip or trick that I would like to show you guys, if you do find yourself struggling, uh, what a couple of people in my server do in order to keep up with uh, the heavy whales in the server is they will recycle all of their green ants, all of their green ants. So there are seven development green ants, and there are three combat green ants. They will develop, they will recycle all of them. In order to recycle an ant, you just have to click on it. It can't be information. It can't be stationed. Click on this book and then click on this green. And as you can see, you'll get the honeydew that you've used. You'll get the 80% of the spores that you've that you'll, you've used. And you'll get the uh, shell of that thing back. So another way to redeem to gain spores. Um, this will allow you to finish every CA if you're worried about it. And then you can do orange ants at the very end. Right, so you could do 11 CAs of doing it this way, hatching until you get a green ant, uh, leveling it up, unlocking skills, right? Because it doesn't matter what skill you unlock, it just matters that you unlock a skill. So unlocking this skill, which requires two, three copies of it and 500,000 honeydew, unlocking this skill that requires one copy of it, three blue shells, or unlocking this green skill, which takes all of 20 spores or all of 10 spores uh results in the same points so that's why people do this that's why uh how they do it and then you'll get the spores back at the very end anyway so it's easy way easy way to go uh strong recommendation for me if you're struggling to finish every ca but there's no real reason other than hey i like sleep and i'm not an addict like you to not do every ca but if you're up uh, and the CA is going on. It's a pretty easy way to do it. So I would save my hatching till the end. I'd save using my spores on my orange chance till the end. If you're struggling to finish every CA. If you're like me and you don't struggle. Um, you are losing spores by doing this method. But what you're gaining in the end. Resources, diamonds, honeydew, special QE. Um, I just... I think that that outweighs the 80% of spores you're getting. You're losing by... Uh, recycling them so that's the my tip or trick uh for the event i hope that this video was informative you guys i don't really know what else there is to say for the server server i hope you guys are looking out for my video on these two buildings and the new update in general my thoughts and opinions overall i will be releasing that later tonight uh as i always say you can catch me in the youtube comments below or you can find me on discord Link it, or my name is in the description below. Or, worst case scenario, you guys, you can always catch me on server 174. I'm there all the time. Until next time, stay happy, stay hungry, stay humble. Bye, y'all.